Hi, this is Pris. I have a new word that I wanted to share called Reformation. Uh, so I'm going to share that with you. And um, it's, what happened is that tonight I have a friend that's in the hospital. And so um, I called some friends in Texas to help me pray for her. And um, we ended up praying for a few other things, including the nation. But um, I got this impression uh, towards uh, the end of prayer. And it was of Martin Luther nailing the Reformation document on the door on Halloween. I don't know if you've seen the movie Luther, but I, that's what came to my mind. And, and I'd remembered that he had done it on that date. And I feel God is going to do something big on Halloween this year, bringing the ultimate reformation of the body of Christ, maybe. Uh, maybe a reversal or something, you know, big for us, for the church, especially um, possibly for the nation. But I prayed and the Holy Spirit brought uh, much travail for their friend and for Bev, who's in the hospital. And... Um, than the nation and world world awakening something something um good i just feel you know about about it and so um and certainly if he did do something on halloween that would be uh, you know like the transformation then that would be a big reformation for the whole church um he said I listened to hear what the Lord might say because I had a sense that he wanted to speak to me. So um, he said, I've had a plan and it's a good plan from the beginning of time. Some who have read through my word get glimpses into it from time to time. But what I will unfold now will be a wonderful surprise for those whose expectations have been shattered. You are entering difficult times, but also the greatest of times. My presence and therefore my voice will be with you. Revelation will explode in many who've only heard pieces before. The spirit of might will give you godly courage to carry out my instructions as I give them. The spirit of understanding, wisdom, and knowledge will bless you to know things before they happen in your own life. You will understand much better what I am doing in your own life and in the lives of those you minister to. Your eyes will have but will be open to much more perfect understanding of things around you. Illumination of scriptures for the bride of Christ will help you to share the gospel to all you meet. My power will overwhelm you, whoa, whoa, and you will see miracles you cannot imagine. You will also see things to make your heart break in the judgments that I bring. So cling to me, beloved. Your heart will become the dwelling place of my heart. The mind of Christ will transform all your thinking. You will no longer struggle resisting sin like before because the revelation of my love for you will permeate every cell in your body to the point of extravagant love being known to you in a way you've not known before. The spirit of the fear of the Lord will flood your minds and hearts and will permeate the atmosphere around you so that people will fall down and repent of their sins. My heart in you will make others aware of their lack of heart. They will be convicted and changed as you pray for them. Others will hate you for the light they see in you, but it will not go well for them, and if they cur especially if they curse you. Consequences will be more swift. Remember my admonition to let your gentleness be known to all men. That's from Philippians 4.5. I will remove all the clutter from my church. Every threshing floor will be cleansed. Angels have been coming, yes, ready to follow out my orders and to perform my will in your lives. Those walking in apostolic power will see astounding miracles and amazing grace given to those who will come to me. Corporate bosses, whoa, senators, congressmen, homeless, schizophrenics and warlocks and witches will be among many who come to me in this hour. Even those newsmen who've spouted lies for years will repent and be saved. Is there anything I cannot do? Who are you, man, to judge? Do you know the details of the lives of those you encounter each day? Don't be quick to judge, for those who lack mercy will receive, will not receive mercy when you need it. Loose my kingdom by speaking my word in the still of the night, and I will reveal much to this younger generation who know me not. 
They will have an accelerated learning experience. I love to surprise those who love me above the things of this world. The wicked, on the other hand, will be greatly disturbed, my shining ones. Healing and deliverance will come so much quicker than you're used to. Some people will just cough up demons by you, speaking the word or even just your presence, for many will cause them to get delivered. People will get healed just by being in your presence or your shadow touching them like Peter. Hey, hey, James 2.13 says, For judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. Greater things will you do. Great exploits, I said. So ready your heart for a huge paradigm shift, beloveds. For my glory is at hand. Whoa! Hey! Excuse me. <laughs> Holy Spirit all over. My, my love will be like a tsunami that washed over the land and cleans away all the filth and shakes off. Whoa! Every encumbrance holding things down. The river of life will wash away every sin, every compulsion, every bondage. You will never go back to the way things were. This is not just a makeover. This is a takeover where you become my holy habitation. And that was it. <laughs> and that's a lot. That's pretty awesome. I'm excited, so I hope you are too. Um, God bless you. And talk later. Bye.